alveol condensation. The product that is obtained in the aldol addition reaction when it undergoes dehydration, we get alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. This reaction altogether is an aldol condensation reaction. Here we have two molecules of the aldehyde that is reacting together to form the aldol addition product. This is the aldol addition product, which is the beta hydroxy aldehyde. You can see that the hydroxy group and as well as the carbonyl group are in beta position with respect to each other. Now this when heated in the presence of acid, it can undergo dehydration to give us the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. This alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound can also be called as enone because you do have a carbon carbon double bond and also a carbonyl group, right? So when you apply en for this and an own for this, en plus own gives us enone. We know that the alcohols can get dehydrated when they are heated in the presence of an acid, but here the reaction is going to be even more fast because the newly formed double bond is in conjugation with the cardinal group, right? because of which this molecule, this enone molecule is more stable. Unlike alcohols which require acidic conditions for it to get dehydrated, the aldol condensation reactions can also be conducted under basic media. So here you are using a base to form the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. Let's now take a look into the mechanism for the base catalyzed dehydration of the aldol addition product. Let's first write down the aldol addition product. Here we have a beta hydroxy ketone. First thing that we have to do is deprotonate this hydrogen, deprotonate the alpha hydrogen. So for which we are going to use a base. This is going to go grab this hydrogen, thrust these electrons onto this carbon, thereby forming the enolate ion. Once the enolate ion is formed, obviously it can be resonance stabilized. So here is the resonance contributor of it. In the next step, these electrons are going to push in to form a double bond, new double bond between these two carbons. And then uh, the OH needs to get eliminated, right? It's going to pick a, pick a hydrogen from a water molecule and it's going to get eliminated. So here is the final product, which is an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. This reaction is also called as E1CB reaction. The CB here is going to represent conjugate base. We have talked about the two different types of elimination reaction before, E1 and E2. Like E1 reaction, the E1CB reaction is also uh, has also got two steps. So here is the first step, in which case it's going to form the conjugate base. And if this conjugate base is not stabilized, this elimination reaction is not going to happen. And this is the second step, where it's eliminating the water molecule. In some cases, we can also conduct the aldol condensation reaction without the use of additional heat. Say, for example, in this product right here, the newly formed double bond is in conjugation with a benzene ring. Now, because of which this molecule is going to be stable and because it leads to the formation of the more stable compound, the dehydration will be much faster and therefore it doesn't require additional heat. 